Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting whole numbers and decimals. This is standard 4.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 7 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got two hiking trails. Trail Y is 2.7 or 2 and 7 tenths miles long. Trail Z is 5.84 or 5 and 84 hundredths miles long. So what is the total length of these two hiking trails? And there's no A, B, C, or D to choose from. Well, it seems like if I were to draw a strip diagram, I'm going to draw a part, part hole specifically. Uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty straightforward. So let's see if I can do that correctly. So I've got my total. That's the question. I don't know what my total is, right? That always goes in the top. And it looks like I've got two parts. And show Y is a little bit shorter. All right, so I'm going to put 2.7 right there. I'm going to put 5.84 right there. All right. So it seems pretty straightforward, we just add them up. But here's the trick, if there is a trick. We've got a decimal. So we need to make sure we line it up. So let me just kind of put this up here to kind of ground us. So that's the mini, that's the most digits I can see. So let's label them real quick, all right? So the ones digit is always to the left of the decimal. And then as you go beyond the ones digit, it's ones, tens, hundreds, all of those whole number places that we learned in kindergarten through third grade, right? In fourth grade, we start getting introduced to decimals. So we get tenths and we get hundredths. Now here's what we need to know is that when we add and subtract decimals, we need to completely line up the decimals. It doesn't matter what is hanging off to the side one way or the other. We need to line up the decimals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my decimals. I'm going to add them right underneath here. So 2.7, right? That's going to be a 2 in the 1's place. See how that's going to go right down there? And that means I'm going to have a 7 in the 10th's place. And I'm just going to go ahead and line up those two decimals because that's the most important thing. A 5.84 is going to have a 5 in the 1's place. It's going to have an 8 in the tenths place. And then you see that hundredths place gets a 4. Now, there's nothing in the hundredths place on that top number. Your choice. You can either leave it blank. If you want to, you can add a 0. It gets means the same thing because adding a blank or adding 0 still doesn't change the number. Uh, if you want it to look even, that's fine. And 2.7 and 2.70, they're equal. They're the exact same thing. You just added a zero, but you didn't really change anything. So we're going to add these up. The rest is just like normal addition. Just make sure you bring that decimal down into your answer bar. So that's going to be 4. That's going to be 15. We're going to carry the 1. That's 3. That's 8. All right, so 8.54 or 8 and 54 hundredths. But now we have to make sure that we bubble it in. Correctly. So here is our answer document. It's going to look something like this. You're going to get this really long column right here. This is your decimal. And so you'll see the decimal actually in that column, but no bubbles underneath it. You're going to see two, decim two digits to the right. Bring this over. You're going to see three digits to the left. So that's all you're going to get. So once again, everything is anchored around that decimal point. So make sure that you start with that. So my answer is 8, right? So I'm going to get an 8. It's my 1's place. And then my 5 is going to go in my 10th's place. My 4 is going to go in the 100th's place. I don't have anything in the 10's or the 100th's, right? This is my 1's, my 10th's, my 10's, my 100's. That's fine. Leave them blank. And then all you have to do is just bubble in the correct bubbles underneath and you're good to go.